a dark navy polo shirt, short sleeve, dark wash slim fit denim paired with some really nice black Vans slip-ons. Couple of notes about this outfit. You're gonna wanna make sure that your shirt fits you properly. Right here, you want that shoulder seam to be sitting right at your shoulder. You don't want the sleeve of your short sleeve shirt to be too high or too long. You don't want a lot of excess fabric around the midsection and the waist. This is going to make you look bigger in that area than you actually are, which is something that none of us want. Also gonna wanna make sure that it fits nicely up in the chest area, not too loose, but a little bit more snug, like it's giving you a nice stylish hug. And of course, it shouldn't be too long, but it shouldn't be too short either. Something like this is going to be totally fine. The jeans, depending on what brand pants you go with, you could either go with a slim or a slim straight fit. These are Levi's 511 slim fit. They're a bit more of a slim straight by today's standards. I did size up one in the waist, which gives them plenty of room to move around in the thighs and the upper areas while still being nice and streamlined, not all baggy down by my feet. Now shoes for this outfit, this is really up to you. I wanted to keep it nice and casual, which is why I went with my all black Vans slip-ons. Now when it comes to cooler weather, a lot of you are going to be wearing t-shirts rather than polo shirts. Me personally, I don't like wearing t-shirts unless I'm going to the gym or exercising. However, you can still rock a t-shirt and look absolutely amazing. And there we go, swap the top out for the navy blue t-shirt, same colors. So this also brings us into our second outfit, wearing a flannel shirt over that t-shirt. And the flannel shirt is a great cooler weather option. If you wear it the way that I'm showing you right now, just with the sleeves rolled up a little bit and with the shirt open, this is definitely going to be the most casual option. Now what you would also do is you could go ahead and button the flannel shirt and just leave the top open a little bit like that. That way the flannel's not going to be flopping around in the wind. This is gonna give you a more streamlined look and make you look more slim since the sides are now gonna be closer to your body. And if the flannel shirt is the proper size and the proper fit, this is going to make you look slimmer than if you wear it open. Now I said the proper size and the proper fit. You wanna make sure those shoulder seams hit right here. You don't want it to be all the way down here. Remember that photo I throw up in some of my videos? Ross from Friends, that huge red dress shirt. You don't want that. You also don't want the shoulder seam to be sitting on top of your shoulder. You want that shoulder seam to be boom, right at the edge of your shoulder blade. Now, when it comes to the sleeves of the flannel shirt, you definitely don't want to go too baggy, but you don't need to go super tight either. Since this is a long sleeve shirt, the tighter that you go, the more restrictive it's going to be, and the less comfortable it's going to be for you to move around. On the sleeve on this shirt, you could see I do have a little bit of room, but just when I'm crossing my arms like that, you could see it does start to pull the fabric a little bit keeps it comfortable, but it's also slimmer than just a ginormous fitting shirt. And there's also a third way of wearing the flannel shirt. Right now, I just have it half buttoned up. You can button it all the way up and hide your undershirt. That way you don't see it popping up. And now last year, I always wore my flannel shirts like this, pretty much just wore them as buttoned up dress shirts. This is gonna be a great option if you wanna wear it to an after work dinner party, since it's gonna be a lot more casual than a stuffy dress shirt, but it's still gonna look miles better than just a basic t-shirt.